if you have a uh, Windows XP or higher it's got software in there that can do this for you or you can download a program like WinZip or WinRAR and I'm going to extract the files to a folder here now here's the actual file there that we're going to execute that's gonna get us all that information about our computer now you can actually rename this folder up here to whatever you want and copy it onto your flash drive or some other folder and tuck it away but here I'm going to go ahead and double click it I'm going to accept my user account control prompt I'm going to close this window behind there and here it is as you can see it just hacked out all kinds of information about my computer as you can see I have a an Intel Core i7 it gives you all the specs here the main board I have an Asus Maximus 3 Genie motherboard tells me what kind of uh, graphics interface I have my memory I got DDR3 I got four gigabytes now when you go to SPD that's going to actually give you the specifics of what kind of memory you have and this is primarily what I wanted to show you about today because a lot of people like to upgrade their RAM and their computers they want to speed it up but they often buy mismatch RAM and they ended up installing it in their computers and then start having problems or it just doesn't take and they wonder why they get no video on their screen so as you can see here we got DDR3 uh, I got stick of two gigabytes here and I have four slots my other slot slot three it's got an identical RAM stick in there I'm using it in dual channel mode and I don't have anything in slots two and four so I could just go and use this information and go online and Google this and find uh, some exact matching memory which would be the best thing to buy otherwise you can just use these specs and get something as close as you can at a local store that sells RAM also here uh, graphics it tells me what kind of video card I have how much uh, internal memory it has what type and another neat thing here is the about here you can actually go and save a report here in this case I'll save an HTML report to my desktop and here it is and this is something you can actually print out it doesn't have the graphical interface that the program has but say you wanted to go to the store and you wanted to buy some parts to upgrade or repair your computer you got all the specs here that you need now most of this stuff you're not going to need when you go looking at the box but just in case you wanted to be sure this is a great program to get all this information and more that you need to do that. That way you buy the right part and do the best thing for your computer.